I'm in a parking lot in Slingerlands, New York, contemplating the art of Richard Garrison. Why am I in a parking lot? It's part of the process. Let's go. Most of my work is, it's mapping related, and usually it's about the domestic environment, and a lot of it is based upon observation and looking at uh, the palettes of these things and distilling that information and hopefully, you know, transforming and seeing these subjects in a different light. I, th I think I've always been interested in art. I think uh, even, you know, way back in kindergarten, I think it's always been something I've been really interested in and enjoyed doing. I think in terms of how my perspective of what I, you know, I've seen or what art is and how I think about art has, you know, drastically changed since then. I've always been interested in landscape. Initially, that's what I started doing was the landscape paintings. It wasn't until about 2000, uh, I was coming off the North Way, uh, going on to Central Avenue, and Target was being built. Uh, the old North Way Mall was being knocked down. And the parking lot was completed. The red lampposts, the Target red lampposts were there, but there was no building yet. And in seeing that, I really, I, it was like striking because you're coming off the ramp, you're kind of elevated and you can kind of see, you know, see it differently. And I, and I, was, I thought to myself, oh, this is, uh, this is landscape for me. This is, this is the landscape that I'm living in. There was something that happened back in, I think it was July 4th, 1998. Uh, <laughs> I was in um, a Kmart. On one of the end cap walls were these color chips. And they weren't like just all reds or all yellows or all greens. There was like a mixture of colors. It looked like conceptual art when I saw it. So I started thinking about how can I use color chips as a way with, with my work? And so back to Target, I started thinking about the parking lots and how they're, they're places that you don't really pay attention to. You park your car, they're kind of like these in-between spots. I went to 16 parking lots in the Capital District uh, with my watercolor sets and just to open up the van door and, and uh, I matched like the mulch, uh, the, the painted parking lines, the asphalt, the, the lamppost. From that, Many projects have extended where I've gone and measured parking lots, like with the GPS. Uh, I've, uh, I've gone into stores and measured aisle widths. And so it's always having this kind of like rule or system to follow. That's what I found to be really, you know, extremely engaging about that was that the process would create the work itself. And, and, and I just really, after a while, I, I, I got sold with that. I really thought that was like the greatest thing. And I still do. The circulars were something I started working with probably about 14 years ago. Before I was going out to the landscape, uh, making you know paintings and parking lots and things like that. And I just thought how these flyers are like an extension of that landscape, and now they're kind of coming into my home. And so I started working you know the same way, like distilling colors from them, and I look at different pages and and I had like this really rudimentary system of like small medium large dots where I'd match the colors based on like the size of the item on the paper. A friend of mine Bill Bergman he saw this and he said to me you know you can do better than that. He created a, a program on Excel so whenever I measured at anything it was more precise and it would convert the, uh, the measurements into degrees and, and make it into a circle. And so they ended up being like these, this kind of hybrid of uh, like landscape and still lifes in a way. It starts saying something, it starts speaking about like what's going on, what are we buying, what, what's being sold to us, how is it being sold, uh, which I find, I find really fascinating. How about grocery shopping? How can I make art while I'm grocery shopping? I thought of this uh, really kind of really simple system, really machine in a way, where it was just a uh, wooden disc that had uh, a Sharpie marker would go in the middle. And then as I would go grocery shopping, the marker would move according to the, 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 the my movements of the cart. 
it, it, was a, it was a great way to kind of get work done when I really couldn't be in the studio. There's always going to be things that you like and you don't like, uh, and that you're interested in, you're passionate in, that really kind of speak to you. And, but I think it's, it's really important to just give everything a chance, like to, to question everything. Why, like, why would someone do this? That's what I love about like looking at our work and you know, and, and artists in general. It's like, you know, what are they saying? And, and I think when you are, when you're, when you're kind of presented with more questions than answers, I think that's when it gets really interesting. <laughs>